Very easy. <laughs> 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 Derip and Ned and Jack and Dagniel Salsa. Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm... Who am I? You're Lee. That's right. From Anderton's Music Store in Guildford. <laughs> and that's Pablo <laughs> making some, He's made himself a nest. <laughs> like a hamster a nest out of room. guitar boxes. And he's yeah. going to hibernate as of this afternoon, and we'll yes. see him sometime in February next year. We are about to demonstrate some Hothwomple uh, pedals. We are. Some Womple Bomple pedals. Um, and uh, actually, not just Womple pedal. I can't even say it. Now. You've <laughs> Wompler. Got Wompler pedals. We've got uh, four pedals here to have some fun with. A couple of new guitars. Um, an amplifier we've been using all day. Um, and we're going to do some tonal demos for you. So let's, let's just quickly, we're not really going to talk too much about the guitar other than show you its pretty colours. Uh, this is a Les Paul uh, Studio with a swirl finish on it. So they've got two, which we'll get some close-ups of. Oops. Oh, oh, you knocked over the Jack of Dagnalls. Uh, we've got a gold swirly one and a silver swirly one, which kind of look funky. They're just limited edition, so we'll just have these for a few weeks. Uh, and we thought we'd use one for this video for fun. The main difference is that the, the fretboard is made of gr Grenache. Obesh. Obesh. Or a beche, as Paul says. Or a beche. Obesha. Um, so, Womplers. Womplers. Well, they're not all Womplers. I've got four pedals here. We did a, a Wompler video last month uh, where we did four distortion pedals that I took along to uh, Maplewood Studios. So I grabbed some more, a couple more Wompler distortion pedals out the cabinet this morning. We've got the Plex Torsion, that's this one here, the purple one. Plexi Drive. Plexi Drive, Drive is the white my one. My personal favourite. Yellow one is my signature pedal, the Talent Booster. Um, and uh, the red one's actually uh, not a Wompler pedal, that's a BB, uh, sorry, an exotic BB pedal, but this is, a, a, again, another limited edition one. This is the Andy Timmons signature. I've talked about this one in the past because it's my, it's one of the most underrated uh, pedals that I think we sell. Uh, it's an absolute tube screamer killer. Um, sounds really? great, yeah. So we'll have a bit of a fiddle with these uh, later. We're gonna show you how they sound just as straight drive pedals through a clean sound on an amplifier. And particularly with the, the talent booster and the BB, we're gonna show you how they work uh, layered over the top of a crunch yeah. channel on the, on the Marshall. Mm. So let let's me go with your... the clean sounds first of all, shall we, just to show the Do guitar it. off. Yeah. Uh, so. Bass. Yeah, a lot of bass. I like bass. the buttery actually, bass. I, I think like the I'm buttery getting one of those. What do you call it when bass. you know you're on an aeroplane and you start getting blood clots in your legs because you don't move them enough? That, yeah, That's deep it. throat, the, deep throat, throat what? deep throat vein <laughs> bosis. Deep vein. Uh, well, I feel like I'm just having that happening with all the air movement coming out the back of this cab. So I'm a lot of bass from this. There's a lot of bass. Let's start. Actually, I think I'm going to start with the talent booster because the talent booster is essentially just a clean boost. Well, let's pedal. be honest. I need that. Oh, sorry, my sandwich is repeating on me here. What was it? Prawns. No, I had a ham and pick a lily. What was it? Ham, ham and, and pick, pick a, a lily. lily. What was it? Ham, ham and pick, pick a lily. <laughs> um, so the talent booster is uh, actually I quite like this. I, we sell a few sort of just straight boost pedals. Some people use them just to give them a clean boost. Some people use them to drive the amp a bit harder if you've got a guitar with single coil pickups or something and you sort of something a bit fatter. But because this is a very dark guitar, that should be really good and complement it. What's different on the, the, the talent booster to some just straight boosts is it's got a, a presence switch at the top. So I can either use it switched, uh, it, it's a three-way position. In the middle it's flat, uh, pushed over to its right uh, is a treble boost, uh, and pushed over to its left is just a generous or more mid-rangey boost. So I'll just demonstrate uh, all three of those. So here's... this in a variety of different ways you can just use it as a straightforward clean boost pedal if you want to um, just to, to start to clip the clean channel of your amplifier just a little bit use it to compensate for a guitar with low output pickups uh, or use it in front of a, uh, a drive channel to just push yourself into sort of uh, deeper saturation which is what Brian May does isn't it he uses a treble boost with a treble boost yeah mm. um, 
So, how do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? Well, we I, do think we should, I think we should now crank it and then use yeah. the booster on top and see what it's like. So, so let's just play some Libus and gain from the amp. Just a couple of licks and then we'll, we'll engage the yellow demon. <laughs> I should say I've, I've got the Marshall uh, with the gain only, only on about two or three. Uh, the reason I've done that is if we turn the gain right up and then just add more boost, it, it doesn't have it has a sort of negligible effect. So the idea really is to use this on an amplifier where either the amp doesn't have a lot of internal gain or where you're just going to leave the yeah. gain more. There's crunchy. only so far you can push the preamp mm. tubes, isn't there? Before it's just so. <laughs> turn the pedal off it's like someone took my joy away <laughs> so that's the that's the one for <clears throat> talent booster uh, very very simple to use I guess works with pretty much any kind of tube amplifier uh, costs about 150 pounds you can get that from Anderton's right now <laughs> Talent booster. Um, next one, and as I said, one of my little sort of sneaky favourites is the uh, BB preamp from Exotic. This is the Andy Timmons signature one. It's just voiced very slightly different, <coughs> but the the, the non-Andy Timmons one sounds great as well. Now, what you will see with this, because it's it's very tube screamerish in the way it works. So actually, as a straightforward drive pedal over a clean channel, which is what we'll do first, um, it doesn't sound particularly dynamic or pleasing. Where I don't really it, like it over just the no, clean channel at all, because you hear the clean coming, it's like a, a an effect on top of the yeah. clean. Well, where it just comes into its own is to use it as uh, a tube screamer should be used, which is to add to a crunchy kind of uh, amp sound. And of course, all the tube screamer became super, super popular back in the 80s, where essentially, you know, guys had these kind of Marshall valve amplifiers that would crunch a bit when they turned them right up but they needed it to just take it over the edge and give them a solo boost. Nowadays, of course, modern amplifiers have got, have got tons and tons of gain built in, so actually there's maybe not quite such a demand for the Tube Screamer, but it's still an absolutely classic sound with the right amp. So, uh, first of all, we'll demo the clean sound of the amp with the pedal kicked in. So. This next sound now is going to be the, the crunch channel of the amplifier and then we'll kick the tube screamer yeah. in again and that's where it really sounds sweet. Yep. 
finally got the gain as well on there at about number maybe three or four. Uh, yeah, well, so. we did discover though if, with this kind of pedal, if you if you put too much of the gain in, it does over compress the input a little bit, and you've got to be careful with the levels to make sure it doesn't do that. So that's the BB. Um, I, I'm sure Chappers will want to come back and do some sort of big solo crazy thing at the end. So you'll hear it again at the end. The next one along is the uh, Wampler Plexi Drive. They class this as a sort of British overdrive. Again, it's pretty simple. We've got uh, gain, volume, tone, and a bass boost switch on the top here. This pedal uh, actually seems to work pretty well regardless of whether we layer it yeah. over a clean sound or, or a drive sound. So, it just works. Yeah, so let's just do the, uh, again, I've got the gain maybe two thirds of the way up here, volume two thirds of the way up here. Uh, I've got a bass boost switch here, which actually I've switched off because it um, we don't seem to need any more bass with this amplifier. But We could you, put it in for the lead stuff later on. Yeah, maybe that works. The leader, yeah. Again, it is. You can definitely hear it's a more vintage sounding drive. So now we'll put it in over the crunch channel of the amplifier. So, and now if you do that lead sweep again, I'll put the bass boost in. This is how quiet it is. Again, yeah. very quiet. Wampler make very quiet pedals. They do. one in the range is the, called the Plex Torsion. Oh, by the way, the, the uh, Plexi drive is about 170 pounds, I think. Yep, 179 pounds. Um, Plex Torsion, the purple one. We got uh, a full three band EQ on this, volume and tone, and the vintage and modern voicing, which uh, again, if you go back to the, the other Wampler pedals we, we did, vintage is a darker, slightly less saturated mode. Modern is the brighter, uh, slightly more sort of harsher mode. Well, with the pinnacle mode. we found that there was a little bit more sag with the vintage type yeah. tone, isn't there? So again, I've got the EQ pretty flat here, volume and gain just over half. 
This is, and I'm in. I'll switch. I'll switch between vintage and modern mode. But this is this is how it sounds over a clean. And this is what it sounds like uh, over a, a crunch sound. I think over the over the gain sound for me that the the BB and the plexi drive work best. Over I think this sounds. is supposed to be in front of a plexi type amplifier and because this is a DSL, it's action packed for the preamp valves. Yeah, you know it, it, does, it doesn't need the preamp valves. No, I think it works best <coughs> over a clean sound, doesn't it? The, yeah, the, the purple. I bet one. that would be really good in front of your amazing number two slash amplifier. It might be. It might be. <laughs> Chris Gedden. Thank you very much. Quite, quite good. Well, I've been Chappers. And I've been Lee. And these have been Wampler Pedals. And a little BB Exotic. And we love you. Please buy stuff from Anderton's.co.uk. Thank Bye. you. Bye.